Welcome back to the channel. Do you have a KitchenAid mixer that doesn't scoop up all the ingredients off the bottom of the bowl? Or the opposite, where you hear maybe a grinding sound and it's maybe scraping up the bottom of your bowl? I'm gonna show you how to adjust the clearance between the paddle and the bowl, either here on a bowl lift type or on a tilt head style. So on the bowl lift model, we remove the bowl. We can see here on the actual body of the mixer, there's an adjustment screw. And that adjustment screw changes the clearance between the bowl and the paddle. So we can either move it to the left to raise the bowl, thus shrinking that clearance, or turning it to the right to widen that distance and lower the bowl from the paddle. So how do we find that proper gapping based on our mixer? First thing we want to do, unplug the machine, put the bowl on, then put the paddle in, and then we want to drop a dime into the bowl because the dime is the exact thickness that uh, KitchenAid recommends to have for that clearance between the paddle and the bowl. And it's about 0 0.05 inches, as you can see here on my micrometer. So we'll put that in and then run the Now we'll want to raise the bowl. Now after we plug it in, we'll want to test to see how the dime moves or if it moves at all. So if it's the beater is too high, then we won't see any movement in that dime. It will usually just stay in place or after many rotations of the paddle, it might move now and again. The dime should move every time that paddle comes by. So as we can see here, let it adjust. You can see it's not moving. So staying in place. So if that's the case, we want to turn that screw to the left to help raise the bowl to tighten that clearance. I recommend making adjustments about half to a quarter turn intervals in either direction just so you don't make too drastic of changes at a time. Let's see how we do it. So to know if the paddle and the bowl clearance is too shallow, you might actually hear a visible grinding noise without anything even in the bowl. Additionally, you might notice excessive wear on the bottom of the bowl. And lastly, with our dime, the dime will actually move pretty far, usually about uh, a little bit over an eighth to almost a quarter with each revolution. You can even see here as you zoom up, there's actually excessive wear. You can see that circle here of wear on the bowl. So that means the paddle's too low. So to fix that, we want to turn that adjustment screw to the right to have that clearance open up a bit. Same process here with our tilting head. Pull the head back and you can see right there, that's the adjustment screw. So for this one, we want to make sure that Power is unplugged, lift the head, put the bolt in place, and then twist to tighten. Next, we'll want to insert our paddle attachment, and then, like before, drop the dime in. Make sure when you put the head down to lock it in place. So that looked pretty good. I'll just show you here what happens if you turn the screw here to the left, that actually lowers the bowl, so that gives it more clearance, therefore not making it touch. And the opposite is true is if we turn it to the right, that will actually decrease the clearance between the bowl and the paddle. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please put them below. If the video was helpful, I appreciate a like and also a subscribe. Again, biggest tip here is just to be smart and careful around the machines. They do make a lot of torque, so just be smart and unplug them as you make the adjustments and you'll be totally fine. Hope this video helps and I'll catch you in the next one.